up, I have the pleasure of introducing our next contestant, which would be John Calerco. So if you could give a round of applause for John. <laughs> Morning. My name is John Colarco. My business is Tower Health and Performance, located in Harrison, New York, in Westchester County, New York. All right, I'm going to take you guys way back today to the beginning. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of my personal story from uh, being, being a young kid and just the aspirations that I naturally had uh, first getting started on my health, fitness, uh, and athletic journey. Uh, the game of basketball has really been the platform for me to express uh, myself and develop my personality uh, and, and who I am today. Uh, it's, it's given me the platform to develop my uh, persistence and com competitiveness, uh, and it, it's really allowed me to uh, get to the place that I am today. So I have to credit it. Um, I started out as an eight-year-old kid with a super thirst for knowledge. Um, I was obsessed. I, I couldn't stop training. I wanted to be the hardest worker in the world. That was always my goal. That was always what I thought about. And I did everything that I could, you know, coming from a state where I wasn't a great natural athlete. And <clears throat> I worked. I was reading every training book, watching every instructional DVD that I could. Uh, and I was studying exercise science as young as 12 years old when I was a freshman in high school. Uh, so that being said, with that determination, I was able to play uh, college basketball for four years and have a short semi-professional and professional playing career. Um, and then I came into the transition. So I went from <clears throat> being a competitive athlete, uh, moving into doing performance coaching. I always knew that I would get into the performance coaching career uh, at, my, my, at, Adelphi, at Adelphi University, my four years that I spent there. I got my degree in exercise science, and I was studying to be a performance coach while at the same time uh, pushing my athletic ability to the highest level I could. Um, so once I made that transition out of college, I started pursuing my career to play professional basketball overseas. Um, my goal was to take it to the highest level that I possibly could. Uh, and at the same time, I was working as a strength and conditioning coach, coaching as many clients as I could. Uh, I needed some money to pay the bills to be able to uh, finance my, my basketball dreams, which weren't cheap. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I went broke going to different showcases and uh, different tryouts where I had to fly here and there and wasn't getting paid at the time. Uh, so it was, a, it was a matter of true love uh, that, that I chased and I took it to the highest level I could. So simultaneously, I worked as a performance coach. Uh, I got my experience there. I started to really try to develop. You know, I started out similar to, to everyone in the industry, just doing some personal training and you know, not really knowing what I was doing, uh, you know, charging super low, you know, race to the bottom, um, race to the bottom of the market, and um, you know, at the same time having zero systems in place and just renting space uh, at, a, at a private facility. Uh, so I set the vision uh, at a point where, you know, I got to a point where basketball, I felt it was time to move on. Uh, I had taken it to the highest level I could. Um, I had earned myself a short stint playing in Italy uh, for a short period of time. Um, I had a, a full year deal all lined up for the next year to go and play. It ended up falling through, uh, and that's when I met Rick. <laughs> so I met Rick uh, right after that, and I was uh, ready to, to move on. I was ready to grow a business, and I set the vision to transfer into being the point guard of my own business instead of being the point guard on the, on the court. All right, so developing into a business owner. So that being said, as I was competing to chase my professional playing career, I was also getting involved with MPE. Uh, I, I found them through just a random Google search one day as I was trying to quench that thirst for knowledge about how I could grow my business and how I could get myself into a position to live the life I wanted to live and have the freedom that I wanted to have. Uh, so I did what I always did. I did what I did from when I was an eight-year-old kid and. I was 12 you know, years old and, and trying to you know, find the best ways to improve my athletic performance and 
uh, you know, increase my vertical jump and dunk, as you guys saw on the last photo. Uh, so I did what I always did. I came across MP on a random article on the internet, um, and I just started to gain a ton of, of value and knowledge from them. And you know, I said to myself, wow, I mean, these guys really have it together. They, they know what they're talking about. So they sent me an email one day, just you know, randomly. It was a late night. Um, I had just got home from doing you know, six, seven personal training sessions. Got the email for a fast forward event in about one month uh, in April in New York City. Uh, they were only doing them in a couple of places in the country. I think it was New York City, LA, maybe another. So I'm, you know, in, in my mind, I'm like, man, this is, this is some uh, good fortune here, some good destiny. So I made the decision on the spot to sign up, sign up for the fast forward event. That was April 2016 at NYC. I was with the lovely Christine Line, um, me, her, and a couple of other um, <laughs> clients in the, uh, in the meeting room uh, when we got there. And uh, as I was sitting in that meeting and asking questions and going through the information and reading her PowerPoints, I said, wow, these are the answers I've been looking for. All the questions I had, uh, she answered for me. Um, the systems answered for me. Uh, and at that point, I signed up for Accelerator on the spot. Um, I was fortunate to go through Accelerator in 2016 with the great Jake Thompson. Um, Jake brought us through that program precisely, uh, started to implement Auto Closer in my personal training business. At the time, I was at a corporate gym. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have some flexibility to be able to uh, implement Auto Closer. Uh, I was pretty much you know, going on the floor, getting leads, and I was able to close and set up consults at the, at the corporate gym, so that was great. Uh, so I got my start there, and I got my feet wet with it. Um, that was in June 2016. I got finished with that about July. July 2016, uh, I had just gotten back from Italy, and that was the summer that that deal fell through where I thought I was gonna get a full year and, uh, from 2016 to 2017. It fell through, and it was time to move on. Um, once I made that decision, right away I decided to sign up for VIP Academy, uh, September 2016. Once again, that's when I met Rick. Um, and once again, I just received great value on my consultation from him. And uh, you know, he answered all the questions that I had. And I just knew it was the right fit for me to, to come in here and learn the systems from NPE. Um, and it was a match made in heaven. It's been so far. Challenges on the journey. Uh, the search. Uh, it started out, once I got to the point where I signed up for VIP Academy, the search for the facility. Uh, as many of you guys know, it's not easy to find the right space based on the criteria uh, that will give you the best advantages in business, uh, especially in a fitness business. So the search was, was tough. Um, you know, it took us about four months. I was thinking I'd sign up for VIP Academy in 2016 and find a place in October, but it doesn't work like that. So I was fortunate enough to still be working with my coach, and I realized that it was a blessing in disguise because I got the time to work on the business and really get systems in place um, you know, my mindset is always go, go, go. I want to get there as quick as I possibly can. And it gave me some time. It gave me some time to get things in place and really get my model um, organized and, and how I was going to do it, how I was going to execute. Uh, so it took a lot of evolving of my mindset. Um, you know, I had been a performance coach and athlete for so long. All I knew was that. All I knew was exercise science, coaching clients, getting athletes to perform at a higher level. Uh, business was never a focus for me. So I had to really sit down in those four or five months and evolve my mindset. Uh, I worked closely with my coach and uh, we worked on trying to transition from you know, being a performance coach and a, understanding what it's gonna take to run a business and be a business owner. Uh, that was a big transition for me. I wanted to hold on to coaching uh, every, every client and you know, I didn't wanna think about hiring, uh, but now I'm in a position where I'm actively working towards that. Um, and it's exciting, it's exciting. It's exciting to have the platform to be able to do that. Um, the persistence, right? It took a lot of persistence to kind of break through some of these mental blockages, right? To break through the fear as we talked about this weekend, uh, to break through the fear of actually jumping out and doing it. At the corporate gym I was at, I, I had a very uh, successful uh, time there. Definitely earning a good amount of money um, and a lot of trainers in the industry uh, would have been very happy with that position uh, and, and the amount of money that I was making, but for me, as I said earlier, 
I've always been a point guard. I've always been a commander and, and had to run the show. So it was only a matter of time before I had to jump out and run my own show and run my own business. Um, and that was the goal. So I, I persisted through that fear. Um, and we let the construction begin. So I found the facility in about four months. Uh, this is you know, pretty recent. This is just in January 2017. Found the facility. As soon as I looked into the window, I thought, wow, these, these dimensions, they look really good, man. I'm excited. Thought it could be the one. Um, I got a, my contractor to come in. We looked at the facility. A lot of work that needed to be done. A lot of money coming out of my pocket. I already spent a ton on basketball and pursuing my dream there. Um, though I was making good money at the corporate gym, so of course there's always that fear of you know, going into a little bit of debt and you know, taking that leap of faith that you'd come back up, um, and I'm glad I did. We let the construction begin, um, and we got it done. So we opened PHP, Power Health and Performance, in March 2017. Um, so this is just about seven, eight months ago. Implementing the systems, uh, that was really an exciting part for me. I had tried to be as prepared as possible. I took my time as an athlete and always prided myself in great preparation, and I prepared myself with MP ahead of the time. Uh, it, it really you know, was golden for me to find them ahead of the time and implement the systems right away. Um, I was able to jump out of the gates having some immediate success and you know, great sales systems in place, great networking strategies in place. Um, so it really allowed me to uh, gain that comfort once I got my first month or two in business. Though I had been so worried about spending the money, the fear of failure, um, I was able to put the systems in place and that early success kind of drowned out all that fear. Um, so success results. Uh, like I said, the business, we've only been open for uh, eight months so far. We opened in March 2016, signed the lease in February, uh, sorry, 2017. Signed the lease in February 2017, opened in March 2017. Uh, we've been open for uh, seven full months in business. This is the eighth. Uh, went from doing, you know, went from zero, obviously, open to the facility, having no facility last year at this time, to a best month ever of 16K in September. Uh, and once again, I've been fortunate enough to, to find MPE uh, early and ahead of the game. So I'll be honest with you guys, it's been a lot of success. It's been a lot of, a, a lot of linear growth uh, due to, as you guys all know, uh, the greatness of the systems, the organization, the mentorship, uh, and the coaching that MPE can provide. So it's, it's allowed me to be consistent and, and keep moving up. Uh, this is the before and after of the facility. It was a, a hair salon at first on the left that you see, and on the right is what we turned it into. All right, guys, so the takeaways here. The, the biggest thing that I credit uh, my ability to get in this position is just my thirst for knowledge. From the time that I was a young athlete, and I had a thirst to learn how I could increase my vertical jump, how I could become a great athlete, how I could get to the highest level of basketball possible. I applied that same thirst in the business. I tried to learn as much as I could, read every article I could, every book I could, that led me to NPE. Uh, and really gaining that knowledge truly became the power for me, as the old cliche goes, knowledge is power. Uh, it truly has been, and especially combined with the mentorship that MPEs provided for me, um, you know, that's really brought it all together. Knowledge is great, but without the strategy and execution, uh, it, it truly doesn't mean much. So it's only power when it's applied. So the mentorship I've received from MPE uh, has truly been the key for me to progress uh, at such a great rate, at such an early time, and allow me to prepare myself ahead of the game. Um, so that being said, the power of mind, right? You know, knowledge, a thought, it starts with our minds, right? You go as deep with that idea as you'd like. Everything start, starts with a thought. So the power of mind is truly the foundation of, you know, where I believe we can find great success. Uh, everything starts with our thoughts. And when we can get those aligned and those thoughts come together and formulate a clear vision, uh, I truly believe that whatever the mind can conceive, it can achieve. So if we can set that clear vision, take in that knowledge, that drives us to take the actions. You can't help but take the action on the thing that you're thinking about, you're feeling about, uh, 
throughout your days. So uh, the power of thought, the power of belief, uh, getting rid of those limiting beliefs, as we talked about all weekend, really attacking those fears, uh, getting back and working on your, yourself internally, making sure that your mindset is organized. We truly have amazing power as human beings to accomplish whatever we desire. Thank you, guys.